First of all, thanks for being here. I'm really happy you're going to share your secrets and your fun times as a professional runner with us. So this isn't your first visit to Croatia. You were here in 1990 in Split. Uh, you participated in the Euro European uh, Athletic Championship. You ran for two hours, 31 minutes and 27 seconds. And uh, I guess that means you won. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> How was it? Uh, it was very good. But first of all, it was a pleasure to be here. Uh, again, it was a long time in Split, but uh, it's always a pleasure to be in different countries. Um, and uh, to be with people related with um, marathon or half marathon with sport and then um, in split i remember very well the that day and the course because um it was we start from the stadium and then we have four loops and then we go to the stadium and uh, for the first time in uh, my life i blew up I ran too fast in the first half, and then I was supposed to slow down, and okay. I forgot. And then at the 30k, I was tired. And then the Egoroba, she comes and she stay with me. And at that moment, uh, I was tired, but I was thinking, we need to wait until the finish line because never loss or never win until you cross the finish line and we were like this until the end of the race and uh, i won the race it was my third title in the european championship and uh, i have very good memories for that day because the people from split they were sharing for me and the way they call rosa my name mm -hmm. It was like, feel at home. It was like the Portuguese people. I was very exciting. <laughs> and I still remember that day and that moment. And thank you for sharing for me. Uh, does that happen often? People cheering for you? Shouting your name? Mm, yes, but it's more... Um, okay, I ran Boston three times. But in Boston, we have a lot of Portuguese people working mm -hmm. there and live there. It's different. In split, it was people... You thought nobody knew you? No, but I knew <laughs> me. But uh, it was, you have a good um, sport education and you love sport and you like marathon. And they were outside, they were in the roads and in the stadium sharing for the people they were running. And you were sharing for the first and for the last mm -hmm. one. And um, I think it was a very good experience for me. I That's what we're very, here very to much. do, to cheer for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but tell me, female runners nowadays run well into their late 40s. But you ended your professional career when you were 34. Why is that? Uh, I was uh, 34 because I get injury. And then uh, I start running again. And I was doing very well at the, in the half marathon. But uh, then I was not able to, to train more because I knew if I was trained more, I get injured. And I don't want to get injured. And I stopped competing. Stopped uh, competing? Competing at high level. But uh, I still run every day. And I do uh, races like 5K, 10K, half marathon, 15K. Marathon, no. But uh, different distance, yes, I do. I love to run. I love to be involved with um, the, peop the people. And I appreciate what the organizers do for the runners because they do a very, very hard work yes. for everything will be perfect in that day. Yes. And um, that's why I'm very happy to be here today because tomorrow I will be in the 5K and after tomorrow I will be sharing for the half marathon and the, the marathon. So I suppose that didn't come uh, as that hard of a blow for you because you held uh, three titles when you were at your best. You had the uh, Olympic, Olympics. you were the Olympic winner, you had the world's first in marathons and you had the European first. Uh, did that put a lot, of, a lot of pressure on your back? No. No? No. Just um, I need to work a lot for winning the race. But when you love what you do, you have pleasure, training, and you want to be good, you need to to do a lot of work, not with sacrifice, never. 
but with pleasure. I want to be good. I need to train and I need to to be uh, as a professional as um, more professional than the others if you want to be in a top level. And I was able to train very hard um, and achieve all the things we did, the European uh, World, European and, World yeah. and the Olympics. And um, I was happy because I was uh, the first woman in Portugal to get uh, the European title, the Olympic title and the world title. And that's good because at that time we don't have uh, so many women in the mm -hmm. sport. And they help go the women go to the sport. Did you remain the only one that got three titles? Were there any successors to your titles? Any female runners from Portugal that made it that high up in professional running? Not, no, but uh, at least not uh, in titles, but at least to, we start to have more and more and more women doing sport. Not as a professional, but um, as for fun, as for health, because before we don't have uh, so much. Just now, like you said, not sacrifice, but pleasure. 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 Go out and running, go out and walking, yes. think about your health. Is there any race that's special to you, very dear to your heart? My first marathon, it was in Athens in 1982. And uh, it was the first uh, official marathon for women. And um, it was the European uh, Games. And I was there running in the 3000 meters mm -hmm. and then participate for fun in the marathon. Because I never trained for marathon, I never did a marathon. It was my first marathon. And um, we decided, me and uh, my coach, it was a good start because to be one more woman and to be in the place where the marathon born. It starts in marathon and finish in Athens, in the old stadium. Mm -hmm. And the course, it was exactly the same they did in the Olympics in 1896. And I start, I enjoy very much running in the end. In the, I was very slow in the first kilometers, and then I started running faster, 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 and then I win the race <laughs> without know <laughs> what is marathon. And it was a very difficult marathon because we go, we start from marathon, we go up, up, mm -hmm. up, up, up until um, Athens, and then you have two kilometers go to the stadium. And it was hot, and uh, it was um, a very good start for marathon. And then I start, I realized. I was a marathon runner and I started training for marathon. Do you think people fall into marathon and non-marathon runners categories? Can you become a marathon runner or do you have to have it in your bones, in your muscles, in your blood? I think if you like run and if you just enjoy and if you are not crazy about <laughs> training too much, not because if you train too much, you can have problems, injuries. Mm -hmm. But if you enjoy and if you have time to train, um, it's not difficult to run a marathon. But it's important to train, because to do a marathon without train, I think you can do in six hours, seven, but next days it will be hard for your yeah. body. But if you are able to enjoy run, if you are able to train at least one marathon, if you love run, I think it's nice. And that's different marathon. You have, um, like, in big cities, very fast mar marathons. And you have marathons like this. Yeah, Not time only nature. to be in a beautiful place, mm -hmm. enjoy. Don't care about time. Just finish, start and finish it, enjoy. Yes, that's what we get from people that run a place with a marathon. They just they, Go. they fall in love with everything <laughs> around them. It's beautiful. Uh, but uh, do tell me, when right about that time when you ended your professional career, um, a rise in marathon winners, being uh, African runners, started rising up. Yes. Uh, why? Why is that? It's, it's, um, 
before the we don't have so much Africans uh, competing in competing not in, in Europe or in the Olympics or in the world. Anyway. They come later. But first they came the men's and later they came the, the women's. Very late. They are very strong. Mm -hmm. Ethiopian and um, Kenyan. And they came, when they came, I was almost finished my career. I don't have uh, big competitions with, with them. And would you like to have one? Are you sorry you didn't run a marathon competing against an Ethiopian? Uh, I I don't care too much because I was competing against myself. Okay. I just want to go and win. And uh, of course I respect uh, all the, the other runners because we don't run alone. But uh, I was always tight. To, I try to win. I was. I never run to to break um, two hours twenty or. I don't care about times. I just want to go and win. Maybe and that's the reason why you win all the time <laughs> <laughs> because you don't care. But I don't care about time. So the universe says, "Okay, she doesn't care. So let's give her a medal, oh, yes. a gold one." That is. <laughs> uh, do you think there's any limits to marathons? What you can do on marathons? Is there any room for growth? The for marathon, you need to train hard. Um, be careful because don't uh, get injured. And um, it's important that people listen the the body. If I feel tired, it's better not to do more miles or more kilometers. It's better to stop. Not to go like crazy, I'm tired, but I need to do more mm -hmm. and more. Why? And it's important to drink uh, water. And then it's important to go to the marathon just uh, to enjoy the 42 kilometers. And uh, of course, they, everybody wants to do the best. If I do three hours next marathon, maybe they can around 2 hours 59, but uh, just go enjoy, uh, it's good to make friends, mm -hmm. it's good to, to be in a different place, it's also a social meeting, like in the marathon, because we talk, we give water from people you don't know, but we, sh we share, it's a, it's a different race. And there, it's no surprise then, then that the recreational running is blooming. Everybody seems to be running, running. Now, uh, including you, 5K tomorrow. Yeah, and maybe next uh, race 10K or 15K. The atmosphere is so good. And um, I'm always uh, excited when I'm in a new place because I like to make friends. And I think sport is uh, the best hand because mm -hmm. you go to a place, you talk, we make friends, and then uh, you can give some advice for the runners. Some they are young, some they are old, but we have the same feeling. That's run, start, and finish. Once they run very fast, some they run very slowly. Okay, important is to finish. You think that's why everybody seems to be running now? I think it's. Uh, also because of the health. I think people realize it's important to take care of our health and it's um, easy to get a pair of shoes and run then then yes. it's much more cheaper mm. and then go to the doctors, I'm sick, my heart is bad, um, I'm too fat and uh, I don't know where but in Portugal we in Portugal in, in more places from in Europe we are getting the young kids fat because they hit, hit mm -hmm. fat things and they are sports only play. I think it's computers. a global disease. Yeah, yeah. Computers. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's a problem we will have in the future. But the people start from 20, 30, 40, the mm -hmm. until they love and they are uh, realize, they realize sport is so important for the body and for the mind helps working, it helps studying, is a big, big help. How did professional running or running in general um, 
influence your life, your daily life? Is there something you do differently because you run? Like, I don't know, you wash the dishes extra carefully or something. I, I do everything normal, but I need to run. <laughs> run is in my mind. And uh, if, uh, if you are tired, you have a different job. And if you work uh, to relax from your job, the best thing is training. You must do. If after your job you are very tired, sometimes you are not happy with what you do or things that open happens not so good. You want, and if you go run a little bit to relax, maybe Just you can go some. get some good ideas, and then the work gets better. Because the energy starts. Then the well. sport is good. So, is there any <laughs> advice you would give to a young runner? A small one, maybe the one that will participate in the kids' race? Yes, uh, the important is to participate. I don't care about the place they will be, uh, um, but enjoy, uh, get um, the experience in the race, and uh, don't worry, I'm going to tell them if I have a chance, not to worry about winning or be the last one, because we need the last one. Because if I was the only one running, I was never a champion. To be a champion, <laughs> we need everybody. And the last one, they are very important. And uh, that's why we need to share for everyone. The more people we have in sport, it's, uh, it's better for the quality. I hope you'll be uh, with us at the finish line, waiting for the last one, while congratulating for the, sure. the first one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. Too. Thank you. Thank you very much.